guys, it's me, Stace. Welcome back to another Friday PIP, which is our Pinterest-inspired project. Today we are taking a photograph and floating it inside a mason jar that is filled with oil. Super cool idea, and I knew I had to try it. So here is the mason jar. You can see my oil here. I also added a few rosemary sprigs from our garden, and I inserted a photo. And that photo is completely submerged in the oil, but it's also freely in there floating around. I chose a black and white photo. Actually, the Pinterest uh, recommended a black and white photo to add more of the vintage effect to it. And this is just one from our wedding day. This is my bridal party. And tied it together with a little um, cute little wrap of your bow. Now, the mason jars, I got a case of 12 of these from Walmart. They were about $10. Now, these ones here I did not use because there's embossing on all the edges. This one I got from a case of 12 for $8.25 at Dollar General. There's embossing or raised edge on one side, but the other three quarters of the jar are flat. So I, I'm gonna use this one here instead. All you do is take the lid and the rim off, take a photograph, and like I said, she did recommend a black and white photo. This is the hubby with um, the men. I'm just gonna put it in there, and you can use a smaller photo. Any size photo you have will be fine. Now you're gonna take oil, just regular vegetable oil. I got this from Dollar General as well, just Clover Valley. I wanna say it was like $2.25. I'm going to open this up and we're just going to pour the oil inside that jar. And I printed the photos this morning on my Canon printer using just regular um, Canon um, glossy um, photo paper. Right, so pour that in there. Um, on her post with this, people had asked if you can tint the oil, um, use a different oil. I'm not sure. She recommended vegetable oil, so that's what we're going to go ahead and use. I think this is a really cute wedding gift. I would not use the original photo. I'd probably make a copy or a photocopy. All right, so we're filled with our oil. I just took some rosemary branches or sprigs from our garden. And you know, she did say a dry flower. We're going to go ahead and use um, fresh rosemary because that's what I had. Oh, and there's a spider. I guess it came off the rosemary. Just a few sprigs, just to add a little bit to it. You could probably add, um, if this is like a wedding photo, you could probably add different, um, I don't know, like 3D things. Now this one had a gold rim. I didn't like the gold rim, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the silver rim off this one. And then just seal it up. How fun, right? Super cool. All right, so to tie this one up, I got this raffia also from the Dollar General. Um, I want to say it was dollar. It's not the best raffia, but it had um, blue and pink. And I'm going to go ahead and put these on either side of our mantle for the fireplace. I think it'll kind of look kind of pretty. And all of our photos in our house or in the living room area are all mainly black and white, so it'll fit in really nicely there. I don't know how much I need, so we're just going to go ahead and take a chunk. All right, and then just tie it into a bow. Just wrap it around the rim there. It's a really simple project. Like I said, I think this will make a really nice um, wedding gift. So you can, you know, jazz it up. You can put dried flowers from the bridal party in there, or that the bride carried. I'm right, just gonna untie this in a bow. I'm using two strands of it. Tie the bows are always the hardest when you're doing a video, right? This is not the best raffia, but it'll work. You can always hang, you know, hang stuff on the front. You can put a tag on it. You can date it. I would not recommend using the original photo. I would definitely make a copy of it because I'm assuming once you take the photo out, it's going to be ruined, I'm guessing. So there really wasn't a whole lot of detail on it, but I figured with a photocopy, you know, why not go to try it, right? All right, going to clip these off. So I have a blue one and a pink one, one for him and one for me. I'm gonna fix that bow a little bit, it's a tad bit too big. Okay, there you go. What do you think? I think it's super cute. I love the idea. Um, so there you guys have it, today's Pinterest inspired project. Pretty simple, but there's um, the bridal party and all the men. Um, any questions, guys, let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.